embark on a journey through time and place as we delve into the enchanting world of folklore. From the mystical tales of the East to the legendary sagas of the North, each story is a glimpse into a region's culture, its origins, and its people. Unravel the threads of these ancient narratives as we explore the rich tapestry of folklore from around the globe. Each region has its unique tales, steeped in tradition and brimming with cultural significance. These stories, passed down through generations, offer fascinating insights into the values, beliefs, and history of the people. From the haunting tales of the Celtic lands to the vibrant mythology of the African continent, we traverse the earth, unearthing the roots of these captivating narratives. So sit back and let the magic of these tales transport you to far off lands, to times long past, and into the heart of human imagination. Let us journey now to the vibrant continent of Africa, to the heart of West African folklore, where we encounter the captivating character of Anansi. Anansi, the trickster spider, is a central figure in the oral tradition of the Ashanti people, his tales echoing through the vibrant landscapes of Ghana, Togo, and Côte d'Ivoire. Anansi, known for his wit and cunning, is a symbol of survival and resistance. His stories, filled with humor and wisdom, serve as a guide, teaching valuable life lessons through his clever exploits. One such tale recounts how Anansi, using his sharp intellect, managed to hoard all the world's wisdom in a pot, only to realize the futility of his greed. Another popular story tells of how Anansi, by outwitting the sky god Nyame, became the king of all stories. This tale, like many others, showcases Anansi's cleverness and resourcefulness, traits highly valued in West African society. The Anansi stories, with their blend of humor, wisdom, and cultural ethos, are much more than simple tales. They are a reflection of the Ashanti people's cultural identity, their values, and their worldview. As we continue our journey through the world of folklore, remember these tales of Anansi, the trickster spider. Remember his cunning, his wit, and the lessons he imparts. And remember that each tale, each story, is a vital thread in the vast tapestry of human culture and history. Join us as we explore more such fascinating folklores from around the globe. As we leave the vibrant lands of Africa, we journey now to the vast and diverse continent of Asia, where we encounter Sun Wukong, better known as the Monkey King. Emerging from the rich tapestry of Chinese folklore, the Monkey King is a figure of immense power and wit, embodying the spirit of rebellion and freedom. His journey begins in the pages of the 16th century novel, Journey to the West, written by Wu Chengen. Born from a stone, the Monkey King is a mischievous character endowed with supernatural abilities. He is known for his strength, speed, and skill in transformation, making him a formidable figure in the folklore. One of the most beloved tales of the Monkey King recounts his audacious challenge to the celestial hierarchy. Discontented with his title as the protector of the horses, he wreaks havoc in the heavenly kingdom, battling celestial warriors and even the Jade Emperor himself. It is only the intervention of Buddha that finally subdues the Monkey King, trapping him under a mountain for 500 years. This story, much like the Anansi tales, showcases the Monkey King's wit, cunning, and sheer audacity, but it also underscores a profound theme prevalent in Chinese folklore, the quest for immortality and power. The Monkey King's adventures serve as a metaphor for the human spirit's indomitable quest for self-realization and freedom. As we delve deeper into the world of folklore, remember the tales of the Monkey King. Remember his audacity, his wit, and the lessons his adventures impart. And remember, each tale, each story, is a mirror reflecting the values and beliefs of its culture. Stay with us as we continue our journey through the captivating world of folklore. As we bid farewell to the audacious Monkey King, we voyage forth to the enchanting lands of Europe, specifically the British Isles, where we find ourselves amidst the legendary tales of King Arthur. A figure of immense valor and honor, King Arthur is a shining beacon within the realm of European folklore, representing the ideals of justice and nobility. The origins of King Arthur's tales are shrouded in mystery, with many attributing them to the writings of Geoffrey of Monmouth in the 12th century. However, the essence of King Arthur's tales transcends time, reverberating through the ages and captivating countless generations. Born from the magic of Merlin and having pulled the sword from the stone, 
Arthur ascends the throne, promising a reign of peace and prosperity. His court at Camelot becomes a symbol of unity, bringing together the Knights of the Round Table who pledge to uphold justice and chivalry. One of the most popular tales of King Arthur revolves around his quest for the Holy Grail. This sacred object, believed to possess miraculous powers, symbolizes the ultimate achievement of spiritual enlightenment. Arthur and his knights embark on this perilous journey, facing numerous trials and tribulations, their resolve tested at every turn. These stories not only showcase Arthur's courage and determination, but also highlight the theme of self-sacrifice and the quest for a higher purpose, much like the Monkey King's pursuit of power and immortality. As we navigate the intriguing world of folklore, remember King Arthur's tales, remember his valor, his sense of justice, and the lessons his quests impart. Each tale is a reflection of the culture that birthed it, and King Arthur's stories are no exception. They embody the quintessential values of medieval Europe, painting a vivid picture of its society. Join us as we continue our exploration into the fascinating realm of folklore. As we leave the medieval landscapes of Europe, our journey through the fascinating world of folklore takes us across the Atlantic to the vast, sprawling lands of North America. Here, amidst the towering trees and expansive landscapes, we encounter a figure of colossal stature and strength, a giant lumberjack known as Paul Bunyan. The tales of Paul Bunyan are deeply woven into the fabric of American folklore, originating from the oral traditions of North American loggers in the late 19th century. His stories, filled with extraordinary feats and adventures, have captivated the imagination of countless generations. Born to ordinary parents, Paul Bunyan's size and strength were apparent from the moment of his birth. His cradle was said to be a lumber wagon, and it took five storks to deliver him. As he grew, so did his exploits. With his trusty blue ox babe by his side, Paul Bunyan is said to have created the Grand Canyon by dragging his ax behind him and formed the Great Lakes to provide drinking water for Babe. One of the most beloved tales of Paul Bunyan revolves around the harsh winter known as the Winter of Blue Snow. In this tale, Bunyan and his crew, unable to work due to the deep blue snow, decide to cook a stew. But this is no ordinary stew. It's so large that they have to dig out a lake to serve as a stew pot, and they use whole lumberjacks as spoons. These larger-than-life tales of Paul Bunyan not only entertain, but also reflect the spirit of the American frontier. They symbolize the challenges faced by pioneers, their resilience, and their ability to conquer the wilderness. Like King Arthur's tales, the stories of Paul Bunyan embody the values of their culture, painting a vivid picture of the society from which they emerged. So as we continue our journey through the enchanting world of folklore, remember Paul Bunyan. Remember his strength, his perseverance, and the lessons his tales impart. Each story is a mirror into the culture and values of its people, and Paul Bunyan's tales are no exception. They echo the spirit of adventure and determination inherent in the North American heartland. Stay with us as we delve deeper into the captivating realm of folklore. As we bid farewell to the towering figure of Paul Bunyan and the vast landscapes of North America, our journey through the enthralling world of folklore takes us south to the mysterious lands of South America. Here, concealed within the dense jungles and the towering Andes, is the legendary city of gold, El Dorado. The tales of El Dorado, meaning the golden one in Spanish, are deeply ingrained in South American folklore. El Dorado was not initially a city, but a king or a chieftain, who was said to cover himself in gold dust during religious rituals. Over time, the legend grew and the term El Dorado came to be associated with a city, an empire, or a kingdom filled with unimaginable wealth. The allure of El Dorado has captivated the imagination of explorers and adventurers for centuries, fueling countless expeditions in search of this elusive city. One of the most famous tales of El Dorado involves the Spanish conquistador, Francisco de Orellana. According to legends, Orellana embarked on a perilous journey down the Amazon River, surviving hostile tribes, starvation, and disease in his relentless pursuit of the City of Gold. Although Orellana never found El Dorado, his expedition led to the discovery of the Amazon River. Like the tales of Paul Bunyan and King Arthur, the stories of El Dorado embody the values and beliefs of their culture. They reflect the indigenous people's reverence for gold, not as a symbol of material wealth, but as a sacred element a gift from the gods. As we continue our fascinating journey through the world of folklore, 
Remember El Dorado. Remember its allure, its mystery, and the lessons its tales impart. Remember, each story, each myth, is a reflection of the culture and values of its people. So as we leave the Golden City and delve deeper into the captivating realm of folklore, let the tales of El Dorado resonate, reminding us of the power of myth and the eternal allure of the unknown. As we traverse the globe, leaving behind the Golden City of El Dorado, we find ourselves journeying to the land down under Australia. Here, in the heartland of Aboriginal culture, we encounter a myth that is as vibrant and diverse as the continent itself, the tale of the Rainbow Serpent. The Rainbow Serpent, known by different names in different Aboriginal cultures, is a common motif in the art and mythology of Australia's indigenous people. It is often depicted as a giant, snake-like creature, whose body forms the landscape, creating mountains, rivers, and gorges as it moves. This powerful deity is a symbol of life, death, and rebirth, embodying the cyclical nature of the seasons and the transformative power of nature. One of the most well-known tales of the Rainbow Serpent tells of its awakening from a deep slumber. As it emerged from the earth, the serpent moved across the land, carving out the rivers and valleys, creating the natural world. The Rainbow Serpent then went on to populate the world with plants, animals, and humans, and taught the people the laws of the land, establishing the moral and social order. However, the Rainbow Serpent is not only a creator, but also a destroyer. In some tales, it punishes those who break its laws with floods, storms, and other natural disasters. This dual role reflects the Aboriginal people's deep respect for the natural world and their understanding of the delicate balance that sustains it. As we delve into the tale of the Rainbow Serpent, we are reminded of the power of folklore to shape our understanding of the world. These stories, passed down through generations, not only entertain, but also teach us important lessons about respect, responsibility, and the interconnectedness of all life. As we leave the land of the Rainbow Serpent, let its vibrant imagery and profound lessons resonate, reminding us of the rich tapestry of human imagination and the enduring power of myth. Our journey through the world of folklore takes us next to the Middle East, a region steeped in history and culture. Here we find the tales of a legendary sailor known as Sinbad, whose adventures have captivated audiences for centuries. Sinbad the Sailor is a character from the Arabian Nights, also known as 1001 Nights, a collection of Middle Eastern folk tales compiled during the Islamic Golden Age. Sinbad, a merchant from the city of Baghdad, embarks on seven fantastic voyages across the seas, encountering magical creatures and overcoming perilous challenges, only to return home with great wealth and wisdom. His tales are a testament to the human spirit's resilience, curiosity, and desire for adventure. One of the most famous tales of Sinbad's adventures is his encounter with the rock, a gigantic bird capable of carrying off elephants. Sinbad finds himself stranded on an island where he discovers a huge egg. When the rock returns, Sinbad ties himself to its leg and is carried off to a land rich with diamonds. Despite the terrifying ordeal, Sinbad proves his resourcefulness and courage, ultimately returning to Baghdad with a fortune in diamonds. Another tale tells of Sinbad being captured by the Old Man of the Sea, who rides on his shoulders and refuses to get off, leading Sinbad on a desperate journey. Eventually, Sinbad gets the Old Man drunk and escapes, once again demonstrating his wit and will to survive. These tales of Sinbad the Sailor inspire us with their themes of bravery, resourcefulness, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge and wealth. They remind us that even in the face of overwhelming odds, one can find a way to triumph. As we sail away from Sinbad's tales, we carry with us the spirit of adventure that is at the heart of all folklore. As we journey across the globe, let's make a stop in the vibrant Caribbean. You may recall the enchanting Anansi tales from Africa we discussed earlier. Well, Anansi the cunning spider didn't just stay in Africa. His tales traveled the oceans, much like our friend Sinbad, and found a new home in the Caribbean. When African slaves were taken to the Caribbean, they brought with them their rich oral tradition, including the Anansi tales. Over time, these tales evolved and adapted to their new environment, reflecting the realities and influences of Caribbean life. In the Caribbean, Anansi became a symbol of resistance and survival. He used his wit and cunning to outsmart stronger opponents, much like the enslaved Africans who used their intelligence and resourcefulness to resist their oppressors. 
One of the most popular Anansi stories in the Caribbean is Anansi and the Yam Hills. In this tale, Anansi tricks a tiger into clearing a field and planting yams for him. When the yams are ready to harvest, Anansi uses another trick to scare the tiger away and take all the yams for himself. This tale, like many Anansi stories, carries a message about the power of intelligence over physical strength. Another beloved tale is Anansi and the Pot of Wisdom, where Anansi tries to hoard all the world's wisdom in a pot, but in his greed and arrogance, he ends up scattering wisdom all over the world. This story serves as a reminder that wisdom is for everyone to share, not for one person to hoard. The Anansi tales in the Caribbean, while retaining their African roots, have been enriched by the influences of various cultures, becoming a unique blend of humor, wisdom, and resilience. They serve as a testament to the enduring power of folklore to adapt, evolve, and continue to inspire, regardless of where they are told. As we leave the sunny shores of the Caribbean, we carry with us these tales of Anansi's cunning and the spirit of resistance they embody. As we leave the sun-kissed Caribbean, we journey north, far north, to the icy expanses of the Arctic. Here, in the land of ice and snow, we meet Sedna, the sea goddess in Inuit mythology. The Inuit are a group of indigenous peoples who inhabit the Arctic regions of Canada, Greenland, and Alaska. Their folklore is as harsh and as beautiful as the land they inhabit. The story of Sedna is one of the most popular and poignant tales in Inuit folklore. It begins with a beautiful maiden who rejects the proposals of the hunters in her village. One day, a mysterious stranger arrives, promising comfort and luxury. Seduced by his promises, Sedna leaves with him, only to discover that he is a bird in disguise and his promises were lies. Living in misery, Sedna's father hears of her plight and comes to rescue her. As they escape, the bird causes a terrible storm in a fit of rage. Fearing they will capsize, Sedna's father throws her into the icy sea to appease the bird. As Sedna clings to the boat, her father cuts off her fingers, which become the seals, whales, and other sea creatures. Sedna sinks to the bottom of the sea where she becomes the goddess of marine animals. Her mood affects the availability of food. If she is not respected, she will not release the sea animals, and the Inuit will go hungry. This tale serves as a reminder to respect nature and its creatures. The tale of Sedna, like all folklore, is more than just a story. It is a glimpse into the Inuit's relationship with their harsh environment, their respect for the animals they depend on, and their understanding of the delicate balance of nature. As we bundle up and leave the icy realms of the Arctic, we carry with us these chilling tales and a deeper understanding of the power and significance of folklore. As we bid farewell to the icy realms of the Arctic, we find ourselves journeying towards the warm, azure waters of the Pacific Islands. Here, we delve into the vibrant world of Polynesian mythology and meet Maui, the illustrious demigod. The Polynesians are a diverse group of people who inhabit more than a thousand islands scattered across the central and southern Pacific Ocean. Their folklore is as vast and as deep as the ocean they call home. Among the many tales that are told, the adventures of Maui stand out. Maui is an audacious demigod known for his strength, wit, and a mischievous streak that often lands him in trouble. Yet, it is this very combination of traits that makes his tales so captivating. One of the most popular tales is the story of how Maui slowed down the sun. The days were too short for the people to finish their work, and Maui, seeing their plight, decided to help. He climbed to the top of the highest mountain, lassoed the sun with a rope made from his sister's hair, and forced the sun to promise to move slower across the sky. This tale is a testament to the Polynesians' deep connection with nature and their understanding of the passage of time. Another famous tale tells of how Maui fished up the islands of New Zealand. Using a magical fish hook, he cast his line into the ocean and pulled up a giant fish, which became the North Island. Maui's canoe became the South Island, forever marking the landscape with his daring exploits. As we sail away from the Pacific Islands, we carry with us the enchanting tales of Maui, a testament to the power of courage, wit, and audacity. These tales, like all folklore, provide us with a unique glimpse into the Polynesians' relationship with their environment, their understanding of the cosmos, and their cultural values. Each folklore is a testament to the region's cultural richness, its past, and its people. 
As we venture deeper into this mesmerizing world, we hope to reveal the power of storytelling and the enduring allure of folklore.